Okay, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So we're going to be flying the Hubson here today. So uh, we're acquiring satellites. I'm up to seven satellites. I've already done the compass dance. Um, got everything going here, so I'm letting, letting this acquire some satellites. I've got the... Uh, the bag, I reviewed this in another, and this is what's really nice, is you can just come into the park, you can uh, pick up your stuff, everything's in here, so I've got my props, I've got my batteries, my controller fits in here, the Hubson with the legs fits in here, and so, very nice overall package. So what we're going to do is we're going to go fly over Lake Huron a little bit today. We're going to do a little bit of range testing. I want to see how many satellites I can get up to. So far, right now, I'm at 8. I want to see if I can get a little bit higher, say maybe get up uh, around 12 or so and uh, see what I get. And then we'll do some flying. Got the SD card in there, so we're going to capture some video and we're going to see how that goes. So um, I think technically on this one, I always lose track on the different quads, how many satellites it requires for, uh, you know, GPS. So both on a transmitter and batteries, I've got full power. So these are the newer batteries that I'm using. I'm not using the older batteries. You might remember I've had some problems with that. So I seem to be a little bit, um, well, I'm up to nine now. So uh, I went up to seven very quickly. Uh, eight's been a little bit slower, eight to nine. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about arming it here. And then... Uh, And we have flight, so I'm going to let it hover a little bit, see if it gets, uh, see if it stops chasing me. It's a little bit cold out here today, so I want to give it some time to kind of warm up, but uh, things are going, seem to be going pretty good with it. Um, the battery's holding pretty good. I've got eight satellites that it's holding at. So, uh, let's, uh, Let's get some altitude on this. It's a little bit windy out here today. Probably a little bit too windy for this uh, little guy, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly it out, and I'm going to. I think now she's collecting video, so I'm going to take it out over the lake. So see what kind of distance I can get. There's been a lot of questions since I've done the antenna mod, what kind of distance uh, it gets. And so far, I really haven't found a, a good distance or a distance where it's cut out at. Um, so again, I want to get some altitude on it. And get it flying around out here. Again, for a sub $100 uh, quad, this has really been impressive. And, uh, let's see, let's, uh, we're taking her out there a ways. So I still have uh, good, good signal control on it. She's going out there, she's, uh, she's well over the lake. Let's, uh, Let's see our back. Let's uh, bring her back around this way. Let's see yaw it around a little bit. It's kind of hard to have orientation of this. Let's see. So that way's flying her backwards. This way's flying it forwards. So let's see. This should bring it, bring it a little bit back. Let's see, that's taking it out that way. Uh, I'm trying to think, see what brings it back towards me. This seems to be bringing it back, I think, towards me. It's hard, hard to tell. I think it's facing me. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's take it up a little bit more. Actually, starting it off on that picnic table probably wasn't a good idea because there's some of these trees in the way. So if I issue the return to home, I'm a little bit afraid that it's going to run into this. So I want to... So that's uh, bringing it back. So that's good. Let's... Uh... Well, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to save off the video. Off the video. 
So I got that. I'm going to restart the video again. And uh, I'm going to actually bring it down and bring it back towards me a little bit. Because uh, the battery's starting to run low already, or at least that part. And we know it falls out of the sky when the battery runs low. So I want to bring it down and I want to... I want to bring this down. So I think this is uh, now video recording me. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. And now. Uh, Oh, that's right, I'm flying it backwards. Now the battery looks like it's pretty much depleted. I'm going to start landing it. We're getting it closer to the ground and bring it to... I want to bring it a little bit, whoops, bring it towards me a little bit. I want to land it more on this grassy area. Save out the video and let's bring her down. Perfect. Hey, look at that. We flew the hubs in. We didn't crash it. Uh, I just have to remember how to disarm it. I think if I, if I just turned it off. So anyways, the hubs in made, made a great flight. Kind of reborn and, and, and now it decides it wants to fly again. That's interesting. That's interesting. I turned the controller off and it took off. That, uh... That is interesting. So I think we figured out how to disarm it. So that was interesting. So I turned the controller off. With the controller off, it just took off on its own again. That was really surprising. So, hey, a little note to self. Uh, but we did fly it again. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we got two flights out of it. We didn't crash it. That's always a thumbs up. So, subscribe button's coming up over there. Uh, subscribe. Got a lot more of these videos coming. If you got any questions about this little guy, hit me up below. She's a lot of fun to fly. So, hey, thumbs up. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.